Celebrate good times. Come on. Hey, let's celebrate. Yeah, all right. Let's celebrate tonight. Amen. Amen. No, I don't own the rights to that song, but I do want us to celebrate together. When's the last time that you celebrated your spouse? I mean, when's the last time you both got together besides an anniversary, besides a birthday, and just celebrated mm -hmm. the fact that you love one another, the fact that you overcame something as a couple, the fact that you paid something off or, or raised yeah. your children or the last one left the house, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's time to celebrate and have a good time together in your Marriage. Marriage. Right, well, we have the definition of marriage. I'm about to call on one of y'all to point out what the definition of marriage is. What you mean you're not ready? I've been saying it for a while. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Live chat it in. I'll give you one more time. Marriage is what? A divine institution. A divine institution that was created by who? God. Where by how many? You mean to tell me you can't let many other people in your marriage? No intruders. Mm. A divine institution whereby not three, not four, not you two and three parents or two children. No. A divine institution whereby two rational, free moral agents, male and female, they do what? Choose to enter into a what? Covenant, Covenant. relationship with who? And, and Almighty God, God to do what? Stay, Stay committed to what? An and imperfect perfect person. person. Yeah, that's marriage. That's marriage. Hallelujah. And that's who you married to. Look beside you. Uh-huh. Look around your, your walls and look at your pictures. Uh-huh. Look at your hand. Look at your left hand. Look at the ring finger. Yes. You marry now. Amen? Amen. And it is time to celebrate with whom you are married to. Amen? Amen. Let's celebrate, people. Amen. I would ask that you all would go with us to the book of Romans, the New Testament, chapter 12, 12. verse 15. And it reads in this manner, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Hmm. When we look at this particular message, it's telling us that we are to rejoice and weep with those who rejoice and with those who weep. Yes. But it should be a genuine emotion uh -huh. that we're doing this with. It should. It should be that it's genuine that if somebody's rejoicing, well, we're talking about the husband and wife, but uh -huh. also can use this for believers in the body of Christ, mm -hmm. that there should be genuineness. That we're genuinely concerned about how that person feels when they're rejoicing. How that person feels when they're weeping, right? Mm -hmm. And if we're going to really be close and choose to get involved in the lives of people, we have to learn to rejoice and weep with those who weep, right? Amen. So here it is. When we look at marriage, it's, it's about being with each other hand in hand through all, thank you, Pastor, mm -hmm. through all of life's highs and lows mm -hmm. and so when one experiences something so does the other why because the two are one 
our lives are one as flesh. one flesh, right? right? We are in this together. together. And so the question is, and, and we ended last week, do you have each other's back? back? <laughs> so when we start out our journey, when we look at it, when you started your journey as a wife, as a husband together, the very first few years are oftentimes filled with a lot of celebration, right? Absolutely. Um, you've been that that first year of marriage and still calling yourself newlyweds and I often tell people like when they ask how how long have you and your husband been married and when I tell them they say oh so y'all um y'all not newlyweds and I say honey I'm gonna be newlywed when I got 25 years and I got 40 years I'm gonna there still be go. a newlywed <laughs> let me just highlight that a little bit it's all about your attitude family yeah. it's not about your situation it's about your attitude it's how you look at yes what your situation is isn't that correct it's not about whether you're happy, sad, or or, or, or glad. It's about yeah. whether you perceive that you're happy. That's right. Pastor. Whether you perceive that you have a good marriage. Amen? See, what I'm trying to say is, no matter what the external situation, the mm -hmm. internal situation has got to be that you're willing to make your situation work together. Yes, and not only that, that you have to look at your marriage that when problems arise when you're going through trials and tribulations that you have to be you have to not just begin because i was actually getting ready to say begin but we should stay in the continual uh, like that. um yes. prayer yeah in our marriages continual fasting and if we're not praying if we're not fasting with inside of our mm -hmm. marriages mm -hmm. then i encourage that you should that we should be doing these things right we have to continue to take the word of god as mm -hmm. it relates to marriage and then apply it to our marriage woes our marital celebrations amen yes you and i know that we're gonna have some things that are not always hot in marriage yeah but we can get through it so in marriage this is what we do we rejoice when we fall in love oh i'm so in love right, right. when we get engaged we have engagement parties the wedding is a huge celebration yeah and then comes what the and other <laughs> and the got a budget and the other but the other beautiful life's milestones uh -huh. like growing your careers growing yes. your business growing your ministry praise god buying a home or mm -hmm. adding to family. your family yeah. children mm -hmm. or perhaps for some it may not be children it may be a pet uh -huh. the early years of joyful celebration can feel easy and abundant there's just so much to look forward to together and mm -hmm. being with the person that you chose because the word says what when a man finds a wife he finds a good thing and yes. obtain a favor, favor with the lord yes, yes. and for the woman who accepted mm. this man who found her right that's right celebrate who can find a faithful man is what the bible says hallelujah hallelujah so that's the beginning so then comes the middle part of being in marriage and the middle is when you when you grow together you learn about each other in new ways and life gets kind of mm -hmm. chaotic at times it sometimes does. it becomes off balance sometimes it can get a little crazy mm -hmm. and for some you might say well in my first my first year of marriage it wasn't about celebrating we had so many issues somebody knocked on the door and, and, and said that my husband fathered a child that he knew nothing about or I didn't know nothing about it. What was that to celebrate about? Mm. And so I get it, right? But just stay with us. This is when we need to remember All to right. press the pause button mm. and still take time to celebrate your love, mm. your life. And all the gifts that God has given, given you. you. That's right. Because as sure as when you were single, you had some issues, some concerns, some problems. Whether yeah. it was financial, whether it was not having a place to live. Marriages go through very similar things. And sometimes worse. Sometimes not as bad. But we have to learn to celebrate. And when I think about celebration, when Pastor Kofi and I were talking about this and studying it, not just celebrate the traditional things like the anniversaries. And that's what Pastor was sharing with me. And not just birthdays. 
And so when he said that, I said, yes. Yeah. So what's one of the ways that we could celebrate in, in being married? Well, one of those ways. Come on now, Pastor. Would be that if I had a, a continual complaint about something my husband was doing or not doing. And she has a lot of those. <laughs> I do not. Oh, no. <laughs> and so then. I was working on it. When I see him work on those things. Yeah. That I should be an encourager. Uh-huh. And say, oh wow, I see that you've been working on that, and I appreciate that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this. Um. So here's one. Mm -hmm. My husband put up this particular thing for us to keep our keys on. <laughs> oh, so you can keep up with your keys. So, I was the only one using it. I mean, not the only one. You know what I mean? You know, one of them things where you set something up and. One spouse follows something a little bit more than the other one does, but the other one does follow it. Okay, had to put it in context. So, just sharing a, a real life example, right. you might say, oh, that ain't nothing. Well, maybe not to you in your marriage, but it was big for me in our marriage mm -hmm. because I'm like, why are you putting this up, but you don't even use it? Watch this, but you're often looking for your keys. Mm -hmm. So, that what you put up. Let's implement it together. And so I kept saying, you need to hang your keys up. Looking for your keys. And he said, he goes, well, you be looking for your keys too. But I was practicing, as he said, using it more than he was. So he calls me one particular morning. Can you check your purse and see if you got my keys? I said, I'll check. And I look. And I said, no, see me here. And so he says, oh, I got them. I said, oh, you do? He said, yeah. I said, where were they? He said, hanging up. And immediately I said, well, that's good because you really have been using it. That's true. Yeah. Guess when that was? This morning. This morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was this morning. Yeah. Amen. It was. It was. It Amen. was. Amen. And, and even in celebration of, Pastor, the things that you do that were negative and and you choose to not do those things anymore to your spouse. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's, I mean, maybe not totally negative. Let's say your spouse felt something was negative. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like even good. in the key illustration for Pastor and I, she lost her keys too. And mm -hmm. instead of me saying to her, why don't you put the keys on the rack that I did it with, I might withhold that. You follow what I'm saying? She might be quicker to remind me that mm -hmm. I didn't put them on there and I'm I might guilty. not put her in remembrance that she didn't do the same exact thing. Well, sometimes we do things like that in relationships. Your spouse complains about something that you're doing mm -hmm. and they do it to you also. Well, sometimes when they begin to modify their behavior in any small, now watch this now, any small way, that is also time, Pastor, yes, sir. to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Don't yeah. wait until they get perfection Come because on. perfection really doesn't exist to the degree That's good, that you Pastor. think it does. Meaning, if your spouse is finally doing something you want them to do, chances are they're not doing it 100% right. perfectly the way you want them to. So you hardly ever celebrate yeah. the achievement that they may have. Yeah. But what if you chose to celebrate the small, small things, things That's right. that are what? Small, small. to who? You. you. But how big? Big to them. Yeah. How would that make the relationship grow? Amen. Vice versa. How would it be for the things that you feel are big? And they think are small. Right, right. That's good, Pastor Kofi. And you saw them celebrate you for those things. Yeah. As you see, celebration comes in all forms and, and shapes. Yeah. Or yep. should I say what to celebrate about? Yes, yes. Comes in all shapes and forms. Yes. Right? Yes. Amen. 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 And so as we're discussing and we're talking and we're sharing about remember to rejoice with those who rejoice and to weep with those who weep. We want to remember that you can also celebrate the fact that you made it through the baby and the teenage years, right? Mm -hmm. That you settled into a home which you can grow 
older together in, right? Rejoicing in the knowledge that you found your groove at work. Amen. Absolutely. But more than anything, remember, as Pastor Kofi and I are saying, to take time to celebrate your wins. It's my, important. My, my, my. Amen. My, it's my, so my. important. And not just, again, the traditional things that we celebrate. Absolutely. Whatever they may be, celebrate each other. Celebrate my, my. in your marriage. We can easily take for granted how far we've come and even breeze past mm -hmm. um, how hard the fight or the fort for victories as couples. Stop, hit the pause button, mm -hmm. stop, hit the pause button, and celebrate your wins. Why? Because they are important. How you overcame your financial struggles, how you overcame your in-law situations, the times perhaps when one wasn't working, how you over overcame the sickness or how you're walking in joy. You're not happy about the illness or the sickness, but you can walk in joy. Why? Because Nehemiah 8.10 says, for the joy, joy of the, the Lord, Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when we can accept and know that the joy of the Lord is our strength, that we can find and have strength in having joyful mm. relationship and celebrating that we have an almighty God, uh -huh. right? Who loves us and who has not left us nor forsaken us, but he's in the marriage with us. Mm. All we have to do is invite him in and mm. keep him in it. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. 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 Don't put him on the back burner. Amen. We want to continue or we want to come back oh, next week? Oh, man. I think we should come back next week. Okay. Amen. So next week. And I just want to give you all a, a heads up. Begin to look at, read, hear, mm -hmm. and study Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. I'll just give you a little bit about it. It's a reminder to the Israelites to be careful not to forget how God miraculously delivered them from my, their my. slavery. But it was a celebration, right? And we'll talk about that next week if it be the Lord's will. Amen. And if it be the Lord's will, you will be celebrating one another yeah. after you get off of this broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, go back in the recesses of your mental mind and come up with some victories yeah. that you guys have just experienced. Yeah. See, life isn't always about devastation. That's right. Losses and, and hiccups. Sometimes they're about celebratory things in your life. That's right. What can you go and celebrate with your bride with? Yeah. What could you go and celebrate with your husband about? Yes. If you're in a relationship, how long has it been yeah. since you've been celibate? Celebrate that. You get what I'm saying? Celebrate the wins in your life as couples. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Those of you who are aspiring to marry, celebrate Come on, Pastor. your victories as it pertains to having relationships. Not necessarily that every relationship you want to have is romantic. That's right. Celebrate your mindset. Yeah. On the fact that you want God to be in your next relationship. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. See, Thank you want you, God, God to be in your next relationship. Well, celebrate that. Yes. Take yourself out on a date. I'm speaking to those people who are with us that are single. Yeah. Take yourself out on a date and celebrate with each, with yourself. That's right. You, yourself, and I together with God yeah, to celebrate yeah. your resolves that you've made. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for those of you all who are married, who are in relationships and who are married to one another, you've said your commitment to God to stay with an imperfect person. Yes. If you're in that situation, take a moment to celebrate the fact that you have some wins, that yes. you have some goals that you That's have right. achieved. They're past tense. Yeah. Ah, hallelujah. Look back on the last two weeks ago. You had made some transitions in yes. your life. It's time to celebrate that. Hallelujah. Candlelight dinner, dinner by a restaurant, however you want to do. Sit home and cook together, but celebrate together. Yes. Amen. Amen. The triumphs that you have in your life together. Yes. I'm talking about the small ones. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about the mid-sized ones. Yes. And of course, I'm talking about the huge mm. experiences that you have in your relationship. Can you do that this week? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, return back with us on next week where we will celebrate together some more. Amen. Amen. We hope that you caught the value from tonight's lesson. 
celebrate one another. Yes. Ha. We love you here at ILM. Yes. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Peace. Be encouraged in your marriage. Blessings. And celebrate one another. See you soon. Thank you.